there are many conditions that can cause a pregnant cat, or queen, to experience premature contractions leading to preterm delivery of kittens. Bacterial infections, viral infections, death of one or more fetuses, ovarian cysts, hormonal imbalances, injury, malnutrition, a change in environment slash moving, and basically any kind of stress that can send a cat into mental and physical distress can lead to early labor. In some cases, a cat may be genetically predisposed to preterm labor. Preterm delivery in cats is defined as a birth that occurs before the ideal 63 days of gestation. Generally, kittens born at 61 days of gestation, or later, have a high chance of survival. Symptoms and types. Delivery before 61 days in cats. Bloody discharge or tissue. Loss of appetite. Excessive vocalizing. The cat may hide away. May seek more attention than usual, and show more affection than usual. Diagnosis. If you find that your cat is experiencing early labor you will want to consult with your veterinarian. You will need to begin by giving your veterinarian a thorough history of your cat's health before and during pregnancy, her onset of symptoms, and possible incidents that might have brought this condition on. Your veterinarian will perform a complete physical exam on your cat while being careful not to bring on any further undue stress. Standard laboratory tests may include a blood chemical profile, a complete blood count, an electrolyte panel, and a urinalysis to make sure that there are no underlying diseases that are causing premature labor symptoms. The blood tests will show whether your cat's progesterone levels are abnormally low. Ultrasound imaging will be performed to diagnose fetal death or abnormal position of fetuses, which may cause a difficult delivery. However, an ultrasound can also give your veterinarian a visual on the fetal heartbeats along with more fetal detail. If the kittens are stillborn, or if they die shortly after birth, they should be necropsied by your veterinarian to determine the cause of death. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Treatment If your cat is going into labor early, immediately contact your veterinarian or call the nearest emergency veterinarian for guidance. Your cat will most probably require medical treatment, either for an illness or to remove stillborn fetuses. Recovery of early contractions and labor in cats. After the delivery, it is important to keep the cat isolated from other animals for a period of three weeks, with exceptions being made for any surviving kittens, of course. Even animals that live in the home and that the cat knows should be kept at a distance, as the cat will need time to recover from going through labor. As much as possible, the cat should be kept in a warm and quiet room by itself. After a cat has gone through early labor, it is important to bring it in for a checkup after the three-week period. At this point, the cat should be returning to normal, and it can be a sign of other diseases if the cat is still weak or sick after the first three weeks. While a cat is nursing its kittens, it is important not to give it any medication without approval from a veterinarian. Many medications can affect the cat's milk and be harmful to kittens. Early contractions and labor in cats can be expensive to treat. If you suspect your cat is at risk of going into labor early, start searching for pet insurance today. Brought to you by Pet Insurer, WAG. Wellness lets pet parents compare insurance plans from leading companies like Pet Plan and Embrace. Find the perfect plan for your pet in just a few clicks. Living and management. If your cat is pregnant you should not expose your cat to other animals in the three weeks before delivery and in the three weeks after giving birth. Even animals that have been living in your own house in close proximity to your cat should be segregated from your cat during this vulnerable time. As much as possible, keep your cat isolated in a warm, quiet room, where she can create a nesting area for herself and her kittens. Some cats feel the need to hide in a closet or secluded spot, while others have no problems giving birth out in the open. If you can, provide both options to your cat. Do not give your cat any medications during pregnancy without first consulting with your veterinarian. This includes flea medications and vaccinations. If your veterinarian is treating your cat for anything, make sure to tell the doctor that your cat is pregnant. For example, you may allow your veterinarian to dorm your cat while it is pregnant, as long as you inform your veterinarian about the pregnancy. Do not board your cat or otherwise move it during pregnancy unless you have no other option. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.